focusing on the lives of a group of working class youths in the slums of Mexico. Luis Buñuel's 1950 film, Los Soldados, tracks how the well-meaning Pedro is corrupted by the influence of the murderous El Haibo. With its depiction of absent and irresponsible parental figures, inappropriate sexual behavior, rampant criminality, and the premature corruption of youth, Buñuel's film certainly exhibits the kind of moral and social decay which Ernesto Acevedo Muñez defines as central to the dramatic representation of Mexico. Furthermore, the urban and bodily decay evident throughout highlights the harshness of modern life. The influence of Buñuel's film can still be felt in the socially conscious efforts of 21st century Mexican cinema, as evidenced by Alejandro González Nieritu's 2000 film Amoros Peros, and Itumama Tambien, a 2001 film by Alfonso Cuaron. Just as Los Salvadados is filled with uncaring and irresponsible parental figures, Amoros Peros contains several examples of careless parental behaviour and, similar to many characters in Buñuel's film, Inuritu populates Amoros Peros with fathers who have abandoned their children. Nearly all the parental figures in the teenagers' lives are irresponsible and uninvolved, unaware of just what is going on in the lives of their children, and frankly, just not caring. The lack of authority figure sees many characters turning to criminality in order to prosper within a hierarchical society in which they themselves are at the bottom. Each Mama Tambien is filled with a perverse sense of hypersexuality in which no real boundaries exist, relationships aren't valued, and sex is seen as the be-all and end-all for two boys who constantly lust after it. The title itself, and your mother too, references the perverted sex within the film as Julio says these words when admitting to having slept with Tenoch's mother. Examples of sexual misdemeanors can be found in Los Salvadados and Amores Peros too. The sexually inappropriate relationship between Jaibo and Pedro's mother in Los Salvadados is mirrored in Amores Peros through the many examples of marital infidelity, while the sexual aggressiveness demonstrated by Jaibo is paralleled by that shown by Octavio to his brother's wife, Susana. As in Los Alvedados, this leads to a breakdown of relationships which is seen to be a product of their moral transgressions. The impoverished nature of their world, in particular, sees characters focus on obtaining money by any means possible, while there also seems to be a chain of abuse which targets those who are more vulnerable in society than oneself, whether that be attacking a blind man, your wife, an amputee, or as is depicted in both films, an animal, whether that be a dog or a chicken. The suggestion seems to be, in order to further yourself in society, you have to destroy that which is inferior to you. Lots of the main action in Los Alvedados, in particular the violence and crime that occurs, takes place within a new development under construction as the backdrop. This subtly creates a negative association of modernity and the changing urban landscape with poor social conduct. Similarly, in Itumama Tambien, we are invited to create a link between social development and adverse consequences. In the opening sequence, we learn through the use of an omniscient narrator that a man has died after insisting on walking across a vehicle-only bridge in an attempt to commute to work more efficiently, a clear critique of the fast-paced society in which we live where speed is valued over safety. Overall, with their depictions of inappropriate sexual behaviour, irresponsible parenting, criminality and decay, it is clear that both Amores Peros and Itumama Tambien paint an often bleak image of contemporary Mexico and, in doing so, touch on many of the same class-oriented themes as Los Alvedados, ensuring that Buñuel's legacy lives on in Mexican cinema of the 21st century.